We're joined here in Tahir Square by Mona El Tawawi, who is an Egyptian writer. Mona, I know you were here in the square last night, you're here tonight. Is the mood still the same, one of defiance? Absolutely. I just heard some chants against the military. Actually, most of the chanting that I'm hearing tonight is against the military, is against Tantawi, who gave a speech yesterday that did not go down very well here at the square. And people are determined to get their defiance across to the Supreme Military Council and tell them we want nothing short of a civilian leadership for Egypt. Now, you're very active on social media, so you get a sense of what the mood is. We're hearing that, and I've seen myself today, people outside the square are saying, why do the protests go on? The military is doing what it can. Yeah, I had the conversation myself with someone at a hotel who said that he liked Antawi's speech and we should give the military a chance. And in, in talking about this and in reminding him of police brutality and asking him who is shooting people with those rubber-coated bullets, who is firing that tear gas that is filling people asphyxiated, and I can hardly breathe myself, in ambulances. And, you know, and I got him to see that it was the, the Supreme Military Council is in charge. They're the ones who are running the country right now. So I think the, 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 the challenge here is to connect what we know here in Tahrir Square and take it outside to people who do not necessarily know this and who look to the military for stability. We must never choose between freedom and stability in Egypt. That is the challenge.